I have good news about JCPS students' performance on NAEP, the National Assessment of Educational Progress, that you probably have not heard. Our students' average scores in reading and math exceeded the scores of many other large urban districts in America. Data from the test, known as the Nation's Report Card, also shows that the district is closing achievement gaps between black and white students in these two critical subjects. These results are indeed good news. JCPS was one of 21 urban school districts, including Austin, Charlotte-Mecklenburg, Baltimore, Philadelphia, and Miami-Dade that volunteered for the rigorous national test that gauges the achievement of fourth and eighth grade students based on a higher academic benchmark than many state tests. Our test results are posted on the district's website. I encourage you to review them. If you're wondering why it's necessary to participate in another layer of testing, the answer is NAEP and its results offer tangible benefits for school districts. It provides us with a broader national lens to assess student performance. Not only do we want our students to be top performers in the state of Kentucky, we want them to be top performers nationally. In fact, how well our students stack up against those from other big cities is a question we often get from the business community, especially as the city works to attract new business development. The test also has opened up a wealth of resources that help us improve our benchmark testing and strengthen professional development training for teachers. This work ultimately enhances classroom instruction. And our participation has been beneficial in assessing the rigor and quality of Kentucky's academic standards, which you'll be happy to know are quite tough. The NAEP results are evidence that JCPS is increasing the rigor of classroom instruction. Our instructional staff is focused on academic achievement and is developing sound instructional practices that are producing positive results. And while our students scored higher and showed growth, we still have many students who are not yet proficient in reading or math. So our work goes on. As we approach the new year, the district's resolve is to continue to identify and share the best practices that will enable every student to achieve academic success. Thanks for watching this week's Beyond the Headlines. If you have a topic you would like me to discuss, send an email to this address. Have a great week.